Hey Muggles, welcome to Witch Hogwarts House, the video series where I take the role of the Sorting Hat, examining characters from different franchises and deciding which Hogwarts house they would be placed in. Today, we will be diving into the head of Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One of the Force from the Star Wars Saga. First, let's see if Hufflepuff is a good place for Anakin. The House of the Badgers were known for hard work, patience, loyalty, and fair play. Some criticisms of Hufflepuff was that they were a bit gullible and lacked a competitive spirit, which resulted in them usually trailing in the end of year house cup. However, Hufflepuff has produced the least amount of dark wizards, turning out greats like Nymphadora Tonks, Newt Scamander, and Cedric Diggory. It's very unlikely that Anakin will be sorted into Hufflepuff. He lacked patience, as highlighted in his Jedi training. He's holding me back! And though he was loyal to his comrades, Leave him, or we'll never make it. His fate will be the same as ours. He's had a few lapses in judgment. It would not take long for the Sorting Hat to move on to the next choice. Next up, we have Ravenclaw, the House of the Eagle, known for their wit, learning, and wisdom. Ravenclaws have been faulted for their fierce competition within academic learning, sometimes even breaking the rules to achieve success, notably the fraud, Gilderoy Lockhart. That said, Ravenclaws have produced witches and wizards of less nefarious note, such as Luna Lovegood, Phileas Flitwick, and the Wandmaker, Ollivander. Anakin definitely falls more in line with Ravenclaw, fiercely competitive, now. No, Anakin, no! and hungry for knowledge. Is it possible to learn this power? He was very talented with machines, especially starships, and he was very sharp. You catch on pretty quick. Even so, Anakin was never very hungry for knowledge, for knowledge's sake, though he was very keen. Anakin was neither wise, nor was he exactly witty. His type of learning was too headstrong, too quickly developed to evolve into any form of wisdom. The Sorting Hat would definitely consider Ravenclaw for a few seconds, far more than with Hufflepuff, but eventually, it would move on. The House of Slytherin, proud, ambitious, and cunning. Infamous for the substantial amount of dark wizards they turn out. That's not a witch or wizard who went bad who wasn't in Slytherin. Granted, this isn't exactly true. There were dark wizards and witches from other houses, but the overstatement is valid. Slytherins attracted the slimy, the vile, and the cruel. But these qualities arrived from their favorable attributes, which included resourcefulness, determination, and leadership. Anakin shared many traits with House Slytherin, he was a natural front-runner, leading with an iron fist and sometimes with cruelty, especially during his time as Darth Vader. Anakin was highly determined, wanting to build on his inherent powers and defeat his enemy, or save his loved ones, by any means necessary. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. The real question here is what side the Sorting Hat would judge Anakin on? The version that is so determined that he would do anything to achieve his ends, or the one who simply let his pride override his good intentions. With this, the Sorting Hat would move on to the final house. Last, let's see how well Anakin was sorted into Gryffindor. The House of the Lion was known for bravery, courage, determination, and pride. But the house was also known for those who were headstrong, reckless, and short-tempered. Pretty much Harry Potter in a nutshell. Fight back! You coward, fight back! I'm gonna kill him! Look at me! Anakin lined up with Gryffindor almost perfectly. He was extremely brave, to the point that he was known as the hero with no fear during the Clone Wars. His determination was relentless, as previously described. His immense potential in the Force made him headstrong and a bit reckless for it. His abilities have made him, well, arrogant. And Anakin was quite infamous for his short temper. And not just the men, but the women and the children, too. Let her go. The Sorting Hat would certainly start favoring Gryffindor as a potential house. But first, it would review all the options, just to be sure. Though Anakin was certainly friendly and loyal, Hufflepuff's tenets of fair play and lack of competitiveness would not suit him. 
And while Anakin was relatively sharp, he wasn't very wise, and he took a fair bit of shortcuts in his training, never having a love for knowledge as Ravenclaws do. The final decision would fall between Slytherin and Gryffindor. He shared the determination highlighted in both. He was highly competitive, a natural leader with a hot head. But for me, the final decision rests on what is at Anakin's core, his inability to let go. I can't do it, Mom. I just can't do it. One could easily argue that Anakin should be sorted into Slytherin. He was extremely savage in the end, and he was power hungry. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. I, I can overthrow him. But the core of all of that came from his impulsive decisions and his pride. The first time we meet Anakin, he was almost offended by being called a slave. I'm a person and my name is Anakin. His inability to save his mother is what led him on a murderous killing spree, not because he enjoys killing or was malicious at his core, but because he had a need to avenge. Anakin was not so much cunning as he was relentless, one of the chief differences between Slytherin and Gryffindor. When there was an obstacle ahead of Anakin, deception and cleverness were not the primary ways of finding a solution. Instead, his solution was to blow through like, believe it or not, a line of the pride. When you poke Anakin, he doesn't turn around and sabotage. He stands up face to face, introducing his fist with your face. And thus, after a short few minutes, with moderate difficulty, the Sorting Hat would finally proclaim, Gryffindor! Of course, this is all my opinion, based on the lore of Harry Potter and Star Wars. Do you believe that Anakin would be sorted into Gryffindor? Or do you think that he would be placed in a different house? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, peace, love, and may the Force be with you. Mischief managed. I only did what was necessary. The fight between Minerva McGonagall and Lucius Malfoy would be a fight of efficiency by two different means. Um, so I actually, I cheated a little bit. I played last night just to see how to play. <laughs>